Well, Jessica, I'll tell you, it has looked better, but it also has looked worse. The snow is tapering off here in Bethlehem. The worst of the storm for this area was about an hour or two ago. That was right at the beginning of the evening rush, but also the time a lot of kids were getting out of school. It was a very, very slow go here. It took me about 30 minutes to go just over a mile over the bridge to come toward Main Street in Bethlehem. Now it's looking pretty picturesque. Everything is starting to get back to normal, but we will have the risk for some icy conditions tonight as the current temperature right here on our mobile weather watcher is about 24 degrees. So even with just a coating to an inch of snow, that's leading to some very slick conditions outside. Take a look at storm scan three and you can see the heaviest of the snow has started to shift just to the southeast of the city. Still some snow on the back edge. It is still snowing here in the Lehigh Valley, although it doesn't look all that all that impressive there on storm scan three. But the heaviest bands of snow right now are over portions of South Jersey. So what happened with this storm moved off the coast. It was trending snowier and snowier as we talked about through the day yesterday and then the banding set up and in those steadier bands you got some pretty quick snowfall rates of as much as a half inch to an inch per hour just piled up on the roads out there. That's what they're seeing down the shore and in interior South Jersey right now. Winter weather advisories remain in effect through the remainder of this evening. The entire area is shaded in purple so it's one of those nights that if you don't have to leave your house you probably don't want to. If you have to expect that it's going to take about double the time it usually takes to get anywhere you want to go. Temperatures right now are only in the 20s dropping into the teens overnight. That means anything that's wet will ice over, especially be careful on bridges and overpasses, any untreated surfaces. Here in Bethlehem, temperatures headed to the teens rapidly. It's very picturesque out here for Holiday Fest as we're live by the Sun Inn at the Christmas Village. Still people out in their hats and gloves doing some shopping here. We'll talk more about what you can find here in the beautiful Christmas city this time of the year. But for now, let's talk a little bit about what we'll end up with on the ground and the timing for the rest of this evening. We'll send it in to meteorologist Chelsea. Ingram. Hey, Charles. Hey, Kate. Yeah, so that snow already beginning to taper off from west to east as you were showing everybody on Storm Scan 3. Tonight, as Kate mentioned as well, we have to watch for those slick spots on the roadways, untreated surfaces, sidewalks, especially bridges and overpasses because those are more exposed to the cold air that is all around us. And then overnight, we will see those skies clearing on out. So far, we've seen snow totals anywhere from about an inch in many locations to over two inches in Newark, just under two and a half inches recently reported and Ben Salem right around two inches and Ambler two inches 1.8 in Norwood and Hamilton right around 1.1 inches and it's still snowing in some of these locations as Kate was showing you on storm scan three so keep in mind those numbers are only going to go up as we head into the next hour or so but in the next one to two hours this is going to be really clearing on out of here uh, very fast but here's what it will leave behind we're looking at anywhere from a coating to one inch as a possibility from our uh, as we head out to our far north and west Western suburbs all the way up into the Poconos, generally from Philadelphia right along the I-95 corridor into Newcastle County in Delaware, also Cecil County in Maryland, uh, Central and South Jersey for places like Millville, uh, Atlantic City, Toms River, Trenton. We are going to be dealing with anywhere from about one to three inches of snow. But once the snow moves out of here, as we've been telling you, the main threat is going to be icy conditions as we head into the overnight hours tonight and also into tomorrow morning before we eventually rise above freezing. That's not going to be happening happening until tomorrow afternoon. Kate will talk more about that coming up in your full forecast in just a bit for now sending it back to you.